Chapter 14 And these are the heritages which the children of Israel took in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar, the priest, and Joshua, the son of Nun, and the heads of the tribes of the children of Israel, gave out to them, their heritage by the Lord's decision, as he gave orders by Moses, for the nine tribes and the half-tribe. For Moses had given their heritage to the two tribes and the half-tribe on the other side of Jordan, but to the Levites he gave no heritage among them, because the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and they gave the Levites no part in the land, only towns for their living places, with the grasslands for their cattle and for their property. As the Lord had given orders to Moses, so the people of Israel did, and they made division of the land. Then the children of Judah went to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephun of the Kenizzite, said to him, You have knowledge of what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, about me and about you in Kadesh Barnea. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to make a search through the land, and the account which I gave him was in keeping with his desire. My brothers, however, who went up with me, made the heart of the people like water, but I was true to the Lord with all my heart. And on that day Moses took an oath, saying, Truly the land where your feet have been placed will become a heritage for you and your children forever, because you have been true to the Lord your God with all your heart. And now, as you see, the Lord has kept me safe these forty-five years. From the time when the Lord said this to Moses, while Israel was wandering in the wasteland, and now I am eighty-five years old. And still, I am as strong today as I was when Moses sent me out, as my strength was then, so is it now, for war and for all the business of life. So now, give me this hill country named by the Lord at that time, for you had an account of it then, how the Anakim were there, and great walled towns, it may be that the Lord will be with me and I will be able to take their land, as the Lord said. And Joshua gave him his blessing, and he gave Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for his heritage. So Hebron became the heritage of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite. To this day, because with all his heart he was true to the Lord, the God of Israel. In earlier times the name of Hebron had been Kiriath Abba, named after Abba, the greatest of the Anakim. And the land had rest from war. Chapter 15 Now the part of the land marked out for the children of Judah by families, went up to the edge of Edom, as far as the waste land of Zin to the south, to the farthest point of it on the south. Their south limit was from the farthest part of the Salt Sea, from the inlet looking to the south, from there it goes south of the slope up to Akrabim, and on to Zin, then south past Kadesh Barnea, and on by Hezron and up to Ada, turning in the direction of Karka, then on to Asman, ending at the stream of Egypt, and the end of the limit is at the sea, this will be your limit on the south. And the east limit is the Salt Sea as far as the end of Jordan, and the limit of the north part of the land is from the inlet of the sea at the end of Jordan, then the line goes up to Beth Hogla, past the north of Beth Arabah, and up to the stone at Bohan, the son of Reuben, then the line goes up to Deber from the valley of Acre, and so to the north, in the direction of Gilgal, which is opposite the slope up to Adumim, on the south side of the river, and the line goes on to the waters of Enshemesh, ending at Enrogil, then the line goes up by the valley of the son of Hinnom to the south side of the Jebusite, which is Jerusalem, then up to the top of the mountain in front of the valley of Hinnom to the west, which is at the farthest point of the valley of Rephaim on the north and the limit is marked out from the top of the mountain to the fountain of the waters of Nephtoa, and out to the towns of Mount Ephron, as far as Bala, which is kiriath Jirin. then turning west, the line goes from Bala to Mount Seir, and on to the side of Mount Jirin, which is Chesalon, on the north, then down to Beth Shemesh, and on past Timnah, and out to the side of Ekron to the north, then it is marked out to Shikaron and on to Mount Bala, Ending at Jabneel, the end of the line is at the sea, and the limit on the west is the edge of the great sea. This is the line going round the land marked out for the children of Judah, by their families. And to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah, as the Lord had given orders to Joshua, that is, Kiriath Abba, 
named after Abba, the father of Anak which is Hebron, and the three sons of Anak, Sheshai and Ahiman and Talmai, the children of Anak, were forced out from there by Caleb. From there he went up against the people of Deber, now the name of Deber before that was Kiriath Sephir, and Caleb said, I will give Aksa, my daughter, as wife to the man who overcomes Kiriath Sephir and takes it. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's brother, took it, so he gave him his daughter Aksa for his wife. Now when she came to him, he put into her mind the idea of requesting a field from her father, and she got down from her ass, and Caleb said to her, What is it? And she said, Give me a blessing, because you have put me in dry south land. Now give me springs of water. So he gave her the higher spring and the lower spring. This is the heritage of the tribe of Judah, by their families. The farthest towns of the tribe of Judah in the direction of the limits of Edom to the south, were Kabzeel, and Eda, and Jagur, and Kena, and Demona, and Adada, and Kadesh, and Hazor, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Tulem, and Beloth, and Hazor Hadata, and Kerioth Hezron, which is Hazor, Ammon, and Shema, and Malada, and Hazagada, and Heshmon, and Beth Pellet, and Hazashul, and Beersheba, and Bezathiah, Bala, and Dim, and Dezim, and Eltolad, and Chesel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sanzana, and Lebaoth, and Shildhim, and Ain, and Rimmon, all the towns are twenty-nine, with their unwalled places, in the lowlands, Eshtal, and Zora, and Ashna, and Sainoa, and Enganim, Tapua, and Inam, Jarmuth, and Adulam, Soko, and Azika, and Sarain, and Adithame, and Jedra, and Jadirothame, fourteen towns with their unwalled places, Zenon, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, and Dillon, and Mizpeh, and Joktheel, Lachish, and Bozkath, and Eglon, and Cabin, and Lamas, and Chithlish, and Jadiroth, Beth Dagon, and Nama, and Makta, sixteen towns with their unwalled places, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Iftar, and Ashna, and Nizib, and Kala, and Aksib, and Mareshar, nine towns with their unwalled places, Ekron, with her daughter towns and her unwalled places, from Ekron to the sea, all the towns by the side of Ashdod, with their unwalled places, Ashdod, with her daughter towns and her unwalled places, Gaza, with her daughter towns and her unwalled places, to the stream of Egypt, with the great sea as a limit. And in the hill country, Shamir, and Jatiah, and Soko, and Dana, and Kiriath Sana, which is Deber, and Anab, and Eshtamo, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilach, eleven towns with their unwalled places, Arab, and Duma, and Eshan, and Janim, and Beth Tapua, and Afika, and Hamtar, and Kiriath Abba, which is Hebron, and Sire, nine towns with their unwalled places, Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Judah, and Jezreel, and Jokdim, and Sainoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten towns with their unwalled places, Halhu, Beth Zer, and De, and Marath, and Beth Anath, and Eltcon, six towns with their unwalled places, Kiriath Baal, which is Kiriath Jirim, and Rabbah, two towns with their unwalled places, in the wasteland, Beth Arabah, Midin, and Sikaka, and Nibson, and the town of Salt, and Engedi, six towns with their unwalled places. And as for the Jebusites living in Jerusalem, the children of Judah were unable to make them go out. But the Jebusites are living with the children of Judah at Jerusalem, to this day. Chapter 16 And the limit of the land marked out for the children of Joseph went out from Jordan at Jericho, at the waters of Jericho on the east, in the waste land, going up from Jericho through the hill country to Bethel. And it goes out from Bethel to Luz, and on as far as the limit of the Arkits to Adaroth. And it goes down to the west to the limit of the Japhletites, to the limit of Beth or on the lower, as far as Geza, ending at the sea. And the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim, took their heritage. And the limit of the land of the children of Ephraim by their families was marked out in this way. The limit of their heritage to the east was Ataroth Adda, to Beth or on the higher. 
The line goes out to the west at Mykmethoth on the north, then turning to the east to Tanath Shiloh, going past it on the east of Genoa, and from Genoa down to Adaroth, and Tanara, and touching Jericho. It goes on to Jordan. From Tapua the line goes on to the west of the river of Kana, ending at the sea. This is the heritage of the children of Ephraim by their families, together with the towns marked out for the children of Ephraim in the heritage of Manasseh, all the towns with their unwalled places. And the Canaanites who were living in Gezer were not forced out, but the Canaanites have been living among Ephraim, to this day, as servants, doing forced work. Thank you.